What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Shalom's third video about Monique. Um, I don't know what this one is about at all. So we can just get into it. All right, look at it. Here we go again, right? <laughs> Hi, I'm Shalon. <laughs> I'm going to jump right into it. I guess the intelligent thing to do when assuming that your son is having a mental episode is to post personal screenshots of text messages that are three years old in an attempt to validate a false narrative Hello. as if they are some type of receipt. You also invaded the privacy of my daughter's grandparents by posting your receipts. Neither of you should never speak on mental health again <laughs> if you thought that that idea was a good one. As a person who lives with mental health issues, let me be the first to educate you that there are individuals who have taken their lives, harmed, and also taken the lives of others for doing the very thing that you so proudly did and your fan base pats you on the back for, which is very telling to how strangers will buy into your toxicity. Mm. Picking up the phone to check on your son that you believe is having a mental episode to make sure that he is okay, while also making sure that your granddaughter is safe is too much to ask, I guess. For those wondering, I have gone to therapy on several different occasions, and that is not something that I will ever be ashamed of. I have even gone to therapy with my mother on several occasions. You would need to go to therapy to be treated the way he's been treated and still being treated. Yeah, uh, these are our three sons, and he's our nephew. <laughs> Never will well, I get over that one. know how efficient therapy works... Therapy only works when both people are being open. My mother was still in her 15-year-old mentality phase during that time, so I guess I understand why she did not know how to be open with me during our sessions. When a person becomes accustomed to being a victim and others get used to seeing them as one, they live their lives in a state of internalization, meaning you consistently receive another's approach as an attack. Constantly putting, excuse me, constantly putting you under the illusion that you need to always be on the defense, even in situations really where there is no actual actually. attack, just an acknowledgement of things already said by you. One should not feel attacked by an acknowledgement of the words that they stand on. You eventually become a passive aggressor. To address the men that had something to say in regards to men don't do what I'm doing. Let me be very clear. How I man is none of your business. Period. What and how I feed my family has no place on your plate. For every person that stated I should not have come to the internet, I would just like to ask, what do Club Shay Shay, the articles about my mother and I's relationship, the interviews about our relationship, and Instagram all have in common? Well, if you are competent, the internet. <laughs> Furthermore, I did not expose my mother. Nor did I badmouth my mother. I simply provided context to what was already being said about me. While all He's simply responding to what is being said about him. Hello. Also explaining why I don't speak to them directly. <clears throat> the reason those that feel negatively about what I said are just having a hard time differentiating between Nikki Parker and Monique. Please stop with the cornball idea that a celebrity can talk about a family member on the internet for years, but God forbid said family member says any one thing and you all are outside with tiki torches and pitchforks defending not the actual person, but the idea of a person. Mm. These people are in an industry that is efficient at making money off of what is pretend. So in essence, you are defending a character. I love my mother, and it took the birth of my daughter to help me begin to understand the value of a mother. I am very proud of my mother, though, and I'm proud of the things that she has accomplished and will go on to accomplish in the future. My mother's bad, man. I watched that woman go from Baltimore to the moon. That drive is also in my daughter's blood. Not only is she still my mother, she's also a part of history. And I would be doing my daughter a disservice by not telling her about who my mother is and was. But since those messages that you posted were used as some type of a receipt to validate your false narrative, I figured I would take some time to gather up my receipts Dang. to validate my decision to move forward with my life without my mother in it. 
Um, I do want to thank you all for listening for the now final time that I will ever address this topic, and I will leave you with my receipts. Oh, we got receipts? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to have to take that off here. Oh, and this is a Drake beat. Hold on now. Oh, that was the baby. You did that with the baby. <laughs> oh. Mom. She looked just like Monique. No go. <laughs> oh, she is gorgeous. She's going to be a little diva. That was the baby. Oh, look at her. That's what's up. Y'all know YouTube's sensitive, so I can't. I, don't, I ain't gonna do too much of the babies stuff. But oh, that's beautiful. I think uh, he trying to let it be known, like he 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 gonna have to move on, like a grown man is supposed to. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. That's all. I wish him the best, y'all, because. Well, it's hard out here when you have mommy issues and daddy issues. <clears throat> you got some adults that can't even coexist with another adult uh, because of how they were treated as a child. And when you get older, you know, in the black community, it's always like, man, just get over it. Like, you grown now, you know, which to a certain extent is a point because you are grown and you do need to get over it. No cap. However, it is time for you to unlearn and relearn um, or unlearn and learn new ways of being able to coexist with another adult or, you know, your partner that you in a relationship or the way you father your child. You know what I'm saying? And I think life will be better for those that have been scorned um, in situations like that. And I know it helped me, um, <clears throat> especially when that parent give you the reality of, I don't f with you. Like, I don't, they will let you know without telling you, you know what I'm saying? They're not, some of them aren't so telling. They show you though, which is one of the worst things I think you could ever go through. So you show me, you don't rock with me. I can show you even better. You know what I'm saying? How I won't rock with you. So it is what it is. Um, hopefully he can find that happiness that he is looking for. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.